This is Michael Wu from newprogrammer.com. Um, today I'm going to talk about how can we count uh, radio, some numbers in a major or an array. Now, um, <coughs> there are several ways to do that. Uh, I think it is quite important. Like, um, so let's talk about a simple way to do it. Now, if we want to count some numbers, um, first of all, let's set up an array. Okay, so we have a one by six array. Now, if you want to see whether any of, well, how many elements inside this array is equal to Two, then we can do find a is equal to two. Now, what it is return is return the index in the array. Now, if we have, we want to do find a is equal to seven. It will return an empty matrix, one by zero. Now, so it tells you like uh, whether there is anything is matching in your array. Is there any other way to do it? Yes. Let's do this. A is equal equal to five. Now, A is an array. If what I did is A is equal equal to five, it give you this one is equal to one. What it is doing is trying to see which Airman is a is a boolean, a true false value. If that airman is equal to five, then the output would be equal to one. So the first element was one is not equal to five, so it is zero. So by doing that, you see that like only one of them is equal to one. What we can do is. sum all of the one then we can tell whether we can tell how many of them is equal to one so in this case we are counting how many of them is equal to one it is not counting how, uh, the index of the of the um, element if we use fun A is equal to 5. It tells you the index. So, can we do that? We can also, one way to do it, like find how many elements in self telling the index using the fun function. We can do the size of fun A is equal to 5. It gives you the size. Now one one, what that means is like, actually it's just one element. The other way to do it is use link. This tells you one. Now if you if we do this, a is zero to seven, the link is still zero because a is equal to one two three four five and six. 